This is part 2 of some of the best and most fun synchro Pokemon to use in a DLC. Starting off with Mousehold whose attack animation really surprised me. It's probably one of the best I've seen in the entire game so far. Every Pokemon has two different attack animations and both of Mouseholds are pretty sick. Now a lot of you have been requesting that I specifically try certain Pokemon. One of those is Keldeo because I previously said only walking weight can run on water. Well, apparently Keldeo and Suicune can also run on water too. And I thought walking weight had the best walking on water animation until I saw Keldeo's. He looks so majestic while he's running, and even when he's walking as well. Absolutely beautiful Pokemon. Beautiful colours, beautiful design, beautiful everything. The next Pokemon you guys suggested was Empoleon, because Empoleon here swims very well, as he does a dolphin stroke in the water. Probably one of the cleanest water animations in the game. And don't forget, Empoleon loves to run, just like Naruto. An absolutely sick Pokemon as well. Genuinely, who doesn't love Empoleon? Now, a ton of you suggested that I tried Xi'an Pao, because you guys said that he's also one of the fastest Pokemon in the entire game. And you guys were not wrong. He's very fast. Almost too fast. Fast to the point where I don't understand his movement. Genuinely, I don't know what he's doing half of the time. I also found out that for some reason, Xi'an Pao's hitbox is three times larger than what it should be, meaning he can't fit into places where he usually should. Oh well, still a sick Pokemon to use. If you guys have any other suggestions for Pokemon I should use, please let me know down in the comment section below, and I will feature your comment in my next video. And guys, stay till the end as some of these last animations will shock you. Back to the Pokemon. This time we got Golem. Golem, as we all should know by now, has the ability to roll, and his rolling animation did not disappoint, especially after I climbed onto a mountain and tested out his roll. What I love about this animation is that he doesn't stop rolling, even with rugged terrain in the way, whilst this Pokemon does the opposite and flies. And I'm telling you now, Lugia is an absolute beauty. It has such a perfect design, and this flying animation genuinely does Lugia justice, because it looks graceful and amazing. Another Pokemon which you guys were talking about a lot was Garchomp. In previous games, Garchomp was able to glide, but in Scarlet and Violet, the boy can basically fly. But there are two dragons which you guys also did not stop talking about. Those are Latias and Latios. As you guys said, they fly like jets. And once again, you guys were not wrong. They're very fast in flight, and both have very similar animations. Nothing too overwhelming, but just enough to keep you satisfied. Check out this Iron Valiant attack animation. I personally think it's got the coolest attack animation in the entire game, along with Mouse Hold. Game Freak really added a ton of detail into some of these Pokemon, and Iron Valiant is a great example. Let me know in the comment section who your favourite Pokemon is to use. 